Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on KF Plus LEGO Mastery where today we will be celebrating, wait for it, drum roll please, 1000 subscribers. Now you guys don't know just how much this means to me. A thousand subscribers is a seriously, seriously, seriously huge amount. And I want to thank you all so, 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 so much for helping me reach this very exciting milestone. Now today, I have a very special engine for you. Now I know it may seem like an inline two to you at first, but actually it's a very special and very uncommon engine that I've never built before. And that is a square four engine. And yes, it does have four cylinders and I will go back, go into depth as soon as I run it in a minute. And as you could probably tell, it does have a starter. So you are actually able to automatically start it with the press of a battery box button. And I will show that in action. Anyway, um, let's run the engine and then I'll explain how it works. Here we go, let's run this engine.
So guys, now that you've seen it run, we'll take a look at how exactly it works on the inside. So, taking off the cylinder head, as you can see, we have a good view of the inside of the engine and all four of the cylinders and pistons. Now, it operates identically to how a normal vacuum engine works. It has a single valve system, or SVS for short, integrated, and that's how it mainly how it functions. So when the valve opens, it lets air out of the cylinder because it's being sucked in, by the, sucked in by the vacuum. The piston goes up and then the valve closes and this part is blocked off and the air is let back into the cylinder and the exhaust stroke is completed. Now you'll notice each piston fires 90 degrees after the, the one before it. So it kind of goes in an X pattern, one, two, or one, three, four, two here. One, two, or one, four, three, two. I don't know, it's hard to say, but this is basically how it functions. In the back here, we actually have the two gears that um, contain the two crankshafts. And yes, this engine does have two different crankshafts, which is how exactly we're able to get the square kind of form of the pistons here. In relation to each other, this crank on the left is 90 degrees ahead of this crank here. So we actually get that even firing and constant power, which is actually really cool. Moving on, we have the starter here, which is actually a one-way clutch going into an M motor, which actually spins over the engine. And then once it gets going, it's able to run on its own and it doesn't catch on the motor here. I'll give a demonstration by hooking it up to my battery box. So when I turn it on, it actually spins over the engine. And I know it was hard to tell it working in um, when I was running it, and that's mainly because it's a self-starting engine, but if there's ever a case where it doesn't start on its own, you can always use the starter to actually get it going. That's about it for um, explanation of the engine. And like I said, it is, a lot simpler than you may think. It's basically just two inline twos put it put next to each other and at an offset. You can adjust the timings so that you get different and optimal power outputs. So yeah, that's about it for this explanation. So guys, that's going to just about wrap up today's video on my very special 1000 subscriber engine. Can't thank you all enough for all the support you've given me throughout the months. It's crazy how fast I've grown and again, for the fourth time, thank you all so much. And I do plan to keep making content and I don't plan on stopping. For my next video, I'll be doing a Q&A. If you would leave your questions for me down in the comments, I will gladly answer most of them I get to. So yeah, if you have a question for me, just feel free to leave a comment and I will get to it in the next Q&A video which will hopefully be either, either next week or the week after. But I will definitely be getting to it as a part two for a thousand subscribers. Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.